Hey basketball coaches and basketball players, today I'm going to talk to you about some easy offensive basketball plays that we can run with your basketball team. Now this is Bugs, he is my newest video editor and of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, don't do it for me, do it for Bugs because he wants subscribers, 100% he wants subscribers, right? Okay, so in this first basketball play, what I'm going to show you is a 3 out 2 in offense against a man to man, but this also works against a. Mo uh. Okay, so in this first basketball play, I'm going to show you a 3 out offense that works also against a zone defense as well. Now, what we're going to start with is a pin down screen by player 3 and player 2. Now, once that happens, we're going to have player 4 and 5 going up towards the three-point line. Now, one of those post players, instead of going up to the three-point line, I want to see them cut towards the free-throw line. Instead of it being the free-throw line extended, I want them going to the free-throw line. Now, what's going to happen here is if player 5 has an open shot or 4 has an open shot, they can take it. If player 4 gets that ball and he's covered and he can't take that shot, I want to see player 2 set up a screen for player 3 to go out towards this corner. And now, player 4 can make the decision to pass to player 3 or to player 2 in the low post. So really quickly, if you're going up against a 2-3 zone defense and we were to run this same offense, we would have now player 5 and 4 possibly open. Obviously, if we have player 4 open, that's going to be really opening up that middle. We could have player three ceiling on that inside. But if player five was to get that ball, and now we're going to be having a player two, he is going to be using player three as a screen. Now he could be open. We could also have player three open in that low post, but we should also be watching player four because I want him against the zone to go towards this elbow because now we have an overload on this side and at this point we should have some pretty easy baskets. Now at the really young level the five out offense is probably the easiest offense that you can run and it does teach your team a lot when it comes to working off ball but also what to do after they pass and then also learning how to spread the floor. This works both against a man to man and also a zone defense. So in the basic easy five out offenses that we can run, player one can pass the ball, he can cut, he can screen away, or he can screen for the ball. Those are the three basic five out offenses that you can run, and it does work against any defense. If player one was to cut, we want player two to fill that spot and player one to pop out. Now, really quickly, even though these two players are not currently in the play, we also want them to be doing something. So, if something's happening over here like I just showed you, we also want player four to do a pin down screen for player three. This way that there's no players standing in the same spot all the time. We want there to be continuous motion. No player stays in the same spot. If player 5 passes over to player 3 and he decides to screen 4, well then player 3 uses that screen, but also we would like to see player 2 do a pin down on player 1. Player 5 will roll towards that basket after that screen. Now, what could be going on is player 3 could pass to player 5 for a layup. He could pass over to player 1 for a 3 point or deep mid range shot. There's so many different options with this play. Now, another simple play to run at the middle school level is a 4 out motion. Now there's a lot of different versions of the 4 out motion, but this is one that I have had a lot of success with. And that is, a, this works both against a man-to-man -man and a zone defense. We will try and get that ball to go through the center all the time. So when the ball is up top, we want player 5 to cut up to the free throw line from the low block. 
and we really want to get that pass into player 5. Again, this works really well against a zone as well. As soon as player 1 makes that pass, he has two different options. He can either screen away to player 4 or screen over for player 3. If he screens over for player 4, we want player 4 to be popping to this spot where player 1 was and we want player one to roll towards the basket. When player one rolls towards the basket, we want player five to be really considering passing to player one for that layup. If there's no layup involved or an option for a layup, we want player five to also be watching player four. So in reality, player five should not be looking one way or the other he should really be facing that side of the, that sideline over here so that in his peripheral vision he should be able to see both players now one of those two players hopefully should be open however we're also going to be having player two he's going to be screening away over here for player three because he was not screened for and player 3 is going to be open as well. So when player 5 pivots, we want him to pivot facing the basket because now, after let's say neither of these players are open, this has to be a split second decision, he needs to pivot face the basket. Now, if player 3, when he's drifting down, is open, player 5 can hit him up for that shot. However, if he's not open, let's say his defender fought through whether or not his defender fought through if he doesn't get that ball we want player one now to go and set a back screen for player three at this time player three is going to use that screen if he's open in that low post hit him up with a pass if not he's going to be popping out player one is going to be popping out and now Player 5 still has that ball, but we are still in that 4-out offense. But player 5 has the ball. To initiate the offense again, we're going to get player 2 to screen away, get player 1 up top, and now player 1 will get that ball and we can set up the offense again. Player 5 will go into the low post on the ball side. Now this may seem really difficult, but for most middle school teams this should be fairly easy. And how you can explain it is, again, fairly easy. Player 5 starts in the low post. Everything goes through player 5. He gets that ball. Player 1 has two decisions, screen or screen. If he screens for player 2, we already seen that. If he screens for player 4, player 4 is going to then get open over here. And player 1 is going to roll towards the basket. Still, screen and roll. Player 5 should be really watching this sideline, but also sort of pivoted that way, so he's still watching that corner. That way, in his peripheral vision, he should be able to see player 1 and player 4. If neither of those players are open, what I want to see happen is player 3 to now set a screen down for player 1, and player 1 is going to then pop back up top, and I want to see player two set or four set a screen story for player two. So now player five has two options to set up that offense again. Now I hope that these easy offensive basketball plays can help your team win more games. If they do, hit that like button, subscribe for bugs here, and I'll see you guys again next time.